Wondering how much life costs in Ontario? Well done! Come on, let's go grocery shopping! Today I'm taking you to three supermarkets. No frills, Walmart and Fratinos. There are other chains here of course, but these three are a fair sample. Here goes a shopping list. Right, I'll type it up for you. Let's go then. First up, no frills. This is the local cheap grocery store. Sort of a little, except the choice is much wider. Especially the produce section is better than Walmart's and on par with Fratino's. What can you get here? Pretty much anything you'll need in terms of food. Even some pretty odd stuff. Okay, particular points of interest. Bacon. Lots of bacon. Canada is big on bacon. Milk. Generally, it comes in plastic bags. Four liters a bag. You can, if you want to, buy it in cartons. Most people don't because it's way more expensive. Dairy is generally expensive here. Even the rubbery, fatty cheese. All bread is soft. Most of it contains between 15 and 20 percent added sugar. Even what they sell as baguettes is soft. You want crunchy? You bake it yourself. Cans. Some of them will be massive, like canned tomatoes don't really come under 800 milliliters, and most of them, including fish, other than sardines, will not be self-opening. Why? Anybody's guess. There is a lot of meat, but it's pork, chicken and beef. Lamb, goat, livers or such things are very hard to find. Oh yeah, and smoked salmon comes deep frozen. Took us two months to figure out or so. Most shops have their own brands. The one in No Frills is called Simple, comes in yellow packaging, allegedly contains less chemicals and usually does have less or no sugar. Last but not least, expect a lot of plastic. Things will be double or even triple wrapped. Most of it, sadly, just goes to the landfill. Okay, so since we're pretty much done here, time for Walmart. Walmart sells pretty much anything. I said Tesco's or Auchan. So compared to other things, the food section isn't actually that big. But it is fully sufficient. Prices are good. Some things are even cheaper than no frills. And if you need some toiletries, cleaning products or a pharmacy, this is certainly the place to go. So, what about Fratinos? So it's all looking all posh, but you do get a large choice. It will cost you sometimes twice as much as no frills. The fish, cold cut and cheese counters are, however, very impressive. Done. Okay, so how much is it? Well, for three people, we spend about a thousand Canadian dollars a month for food. This is a pretty average weekly bill from the supermarket. But we buy a lot of things like meat and cheese and coffee and tea from Costco or the bulk store because they're either cheaper or better or both. Which is where I'm going to take you next time. Remnants guide. To Canada. Mm -hmm.